Hi, welcome to the most useful video on the internet. It's brought to you by Truefire. Truefire is an online guitar learning website, which is really good right now, because if you're like, I want to go get a guitar lesson, but I can't because I'll die. True fire. No, so as you guys know, I'm not awkward. Uh, so I always have a lot of people coming up to me asking, hey, how do I go in a music store? <laughs> That's a very good question because I don't know if you've ever been in a music store, but as a new guitarist, you can be quite intimidating. You know, you walk in and... Especially if you're going in for the first time to like upgrade from your like hundred dollar guitar to a fancy like hundred two hundred dollar guitar Whoa, and it can kind of feel like a lot of pressure You can kind of feel like a bit of a poser because a music store is like the only store you go into where the Expectation is that you like try the product before leaving if you want to go get a bike at Walmart The guy at the store is not like do a wheelie even if you can do a wheelie You know you might not feel comfortable doing it then you don't feel worthy of the guitar but Yeah, even like if you can play the guitar you might not feel super comfortable doing it in front of other people especially when you've been learning online, it can kind of feel like you're taking a test. And to add to it, music stores are like the only store where all the employees there are like experts at what they sell with all like the bearded sages, the, the masters, masters of, of music. music. You know, it'd be like if every time you go grocery shopping, you like walk down to the cashier. Hey, I'm Gordon Ramsay. But yeah, this is supposed to be a help video, not a anxiety list. So I do have help. I did a lot of research. I traveled to thousands of music stores to find the answer. And I have it. So basically, like, how do you go into a music store and just go to the guitar you want and comfortably sit down and try it out, even if you're not like a super great guitarist? Well, I'll let you know. What it really comes down to is the employees are actually all really nice and they're all really willing to help and they want you to have a good experience. I know the first time that I got like a fancier guitar, I didn't really feel comfortable playing it. So I literally walked in and was like, this one, please. Okay, thank you, bye. And that was probably way more awkward than, you know, had I just been like, but you live and you learn, baby. No, so you shouldn't be like me. The thing is, if you do want to be like me now, you can kind of do that and you're like, I'm just not sharing German. But there's really no pressure. Even if you aren't that great at guitar and the bearded guitar man standing above you, if there's one thing that guitarists love more than the guitar itself, it's other guitarists who are worse than them. So like, even if you play badly, I'll honestly just make them like even happier to help you out. You know, like share their knowledge and their wisdom. Cause yeah, at the end of the day, all a music store really is, is a bunch of people with big beards usually who really love music and are ready to share and are ready to help you fall in love with music yourself. Kind of like True Fire. I think True Fire is a perfect sponsor for today's video because a lot of the same like anxieties and pressure that come with, you know, going inside a store are only amplified when you have one-on-one -on -one guitar lessons. But, like, even if that's not your concern, True Fire has a lot of other benefits and they have hundreds of teachers at your fingertips. So, you should check it out. Use my link. And that's everything. That's the whole video. Hopefully you got something out of it. And if you didn't, thanks for watching the whole thing. Leave a comment about the music stories. And most importantly, thank you to my patrons. Bye.